喺二零一四年九月二十一日嘅《二零一二榮耀盼望主日訊息》中，尤雲牧師提醒有意使用專業輻射儀嘅弟兄姊妹留意，喺量度市面買入嘅室內養殖、隔絕外界輻射同埋其他污染嘅海產，以供進食嘅時候，當量度到海產食物含有超過環境輻射嘅輻射量，就算高出嘅數值只係非常微小。亦已經證明，蓋批次嘅海產係受到輻射微粒嘅污染，因為當進食呢一啲受污染嘅海產，體內就會不斷發出輻射粒子，長期破壞身體細胞，最終必產生癌症或其他因細胞受破壞而形成嘅致命疾病。另外，由於海產生長喺海洋，佢哋二十四小時不斷將海洋物質吸入身體，所以如果佢哋身處有輻射污染物嘅海洋，輻射必定會進入海產體內，而人類進食呢一啲海產嘅時候，就極可能將輻射污染源亦都吸入體內。因此，請留意，就算使用專業嘅輻射儀，都唔係百分之一百可以驗出海產有輻射，只有使用實驗室嘅輻射儀先可以百分百驗出所有唔同類型嘅輻射物，例如 C 一三七、C 九十、碘一三一等。以下嘅影片正系介绍点样使用辐射仪量度食物所含嘅辐射量，及唔同辐射仪为食物量度辐射嘅限制。Let me explain a little bit about testing food with the Geiger counter and why it's a challenge. As I explained in a previous video, a Geiger counter has a gas-filled tube in it which serves as the detector. In this particular one, you can see the gold-colored tube behind the grill here. On this little digital Geiger counter, the tube is actually inside、um, in the back here. Your typical Geiger Mueller tube, as it's called, ranges in size from about the size of a AA battery up to about the size of a magic marker in most、uh, normal Geiger counters. Please keep this in mind, as it'll be relevant in just a few moments. So let's say we have. An apple that is contaminated with radioactive cesium. I explained in a previous video that radioactive contamination is measured is measured in a unit called becquerels.、Um, becquerels are how many atoms radioactively decay each second and emit the radiation. So if you have 40 becquerels per kilogram, that means in one kilogram of apples, 40 atoms decay and you get 40 rays of radiation coming out of it. Now, just for simplicity's sake, in this、uh, example, let's pretend this apple weighs a kilogram.、Um, that would be about 2.2 pounds. That's a really big apple. But let's just, for for example. So, if there are 40 becquerels of radioactive cesium in this apple, each second 40 atoms decay and release their radiation. To help us visualize that, I took an apple and I put 40 skewers in it. Now radiation radiates out in all directions. These 40 rays of radiation, in the case of cesium, they, they would be beta particles.、Um, cesium also has gamma rays, but we'll just keep it simple and talk about the 40 beta particles.、Um, they would shoot out in all directions randomly, and in most cases, more or less uniformly, like you can see here. Now the difficulty. In measuring food like this, with your typical Geiger counter, is the size of the Geiger Mueller tube. So let's say I wanted to measure this apple, and I held my Geiger counter down with the tube right next to the apple. Well, you can see that in this instant, none of the radiation coming out of the apple hits the Geiger Mueller tube. Or if I had chosen to hold my Geiger counter over here, once again you can see that none of the rays of radiation, none of these beta particles, are striking the tube. Well, same as if I, if I decided to hold it over here. You can see that with a few dozen becquerels, or even maybe a few hundred, the radiation is sufficiently distributed and spread out, such that. The chance of it striking a small detector 
we'll say this is our detector, in any given second is quite low. There's a myriad of places where I can hold the tube and it's not going to get hit. Well, this pretty much translates into each minute, if you have an apple with 40 becquerels of radioactive cesium in it, each minute you, you're, you might get 5, 10, maybe if you're lucky, 15 or 20 hits on your Geiger counter from this radiation. Now, there's another factor here at work as well. Geiger counters are not 100% efficient. They're not even 50% efficient. At least 50% or more of the radiation that strikes your Geiger-Muller tube travels straight on through it without hitting the gas inside, creating a charge and registering. So, if you're testing an apple and in one minute you get 15 strikes on your Geiger-Muller tube from the radiation coming from the apple, well, out of those 15 strikes, you can realistically expect maybe five or six of them to be counted. So, five or six extra counts per minute um, you, kind of disappears into background radiation. It's extremely difficult to distinguish. So, Tai 是將要量度的食物輻射的地方例如一張台面上量度環境輻射如果量度得到食物的指標高過之前所量度的環境輻射表示食物已經受到輻射物污染即是不可以再食用了